Good morning, guys. Today is October 16, 2020, and this is Miss JD once again, and uh, I'd like to talk about the uh, other stocks that you guys have requested. Thank you for those people who have watched our video last night, and uh, today it looks like we will be able to watch the market as it opens. In the meantime, I'd like to go ahead and probably... Uh, well, first of all, I'd like to talk about your request and uh, let's see if there are other stocks that are looking attractive and uh, and probably get in in some of them. Interesting. Okay, so if this is your first time to watch our video, uh, I am Miss JD and I do review uh, stocks from the Philippine market and uh, some of the markets as well. And um, I also entertain requests. So. If you have stocks that you'd like me to request, go ahead and drop a comment so I can review them for you. I also review the most trending stocks and uh, once in a while I also talk about the fundamentals of each stock. Uh, however, uh, normally I would only focus on technicals. So I'm using a Bollinger Band right over here and uh, uh, RSI and the volume and I'm good with that. Those are my only indicators plus of course our candlesticks here uh, that we use when we analyze or when I analyze. Now, so last night, if you have not watched that video, I will put a link down below. I reviewed uh, the top the top stocks, highly traded stocks from yesterday, and I think I stopped right at BPI, okay, and I can uh, probably First, talk about what is this from Enzo? Thanks for the review. Kindly include FGen and GMA7. Okay, I can probably start with that and then I'll continue the list. Okay, FGen, nice. Wow. So it looks like FGen is starting to trigger our upper Bollinger band. And you know, um, I follow that. Um, concept or formula whereby when a stock is triggering either the upper band or the lower band uh, we are bound to see some significant actions right after that and most especially when a bollinger band is constricted from a constricted bollinger band and then it suddenly triggers the either upside or uh, the lower band and uh, significant actions happen Similar to this one, and then of course some um, bounce, uh, minimal bounce, and then it triggers all the way down. This one too, interesting because we were thinking that at this point it will already trigger the lower Bollinger Band, and all of a sudden there was a gap up. But either way, when a constricted Bollinger Band happened and then it suddenly opens, then you have some significant moves right there. So let us see uh, for this stock. Uh, what we can do right now is probably use our MA20 line as our main support because we managed to cross uh, above the MA20 level now. You see that? So this used to be, used to be your, your resistance right here. And then it crossed the upper Bollinger Band. And uh, now we have already, uh, I think this is going to trigger some more breakouts if look at this so your nearest resistance is right over here so if the market gives you a chance anywhere between 24.22 to probably 25 uh, that is a much better uh, entry now let us see if we have uh, wow so this stock has already recovered looks like it right from April so when it went all the way down um, April, from April it already climbed up and people took profit and looks like uh, there's just a slight stabilization right here when it dipped. It just managed to stabilize here and now it's starting to recover again. You have also had some 8.24 million on uh, buying, foreign buying. See that? So I think that is a good sign. So just probably at this point, uh, momentum trading would be a much better uh, way of doing this because for position traders, this could have been the uh, the right entry. Okay, but I'm not saying you cannot enter in the stock anymore. Um, of course, you just have to 
watch the or read the the news the um you go to PSE edge and uh, check out their finances okay so that's our those are our key levels at the moment GMA7 is another request okay nice nice look at this so it has been staying flat the entire time and all of a sudden there's this big spike slight increase in the volume uh, although there's only 127 but uh, you wouldn't really know right um, sometimes uh, when people or institutions or those with the deep pockets um, they see a potential in the setup all of a sudden they can just easily uh, pump it they could happen here for several days like a week perhaps one week I think this was the period when <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken hold on so if, if I'm not mistaken, this was the period when uh, ABS-CBN uh, did not get their franchise renewed. So all of a sudden the sentiment went to uh, the, the rival company. So I think this was this period or this period around that. And it just went back to its uh, true market value. So it can happen. At this point, it's just a little, it's just starting, but not that big of a volume yet. It was just a slight recovery in the volume if, if I am to look at it. But overall, it's still flat. Okay. <clears throat> so maybe what you can do is just uh, try to accumulate if you don't really, if you, if you are not in a hurry to take profit. Because technically, this is starting. It's just flat right there but this could happen anytime soon okay All right so the next stock from our uh, most trending stocks here oops let me go ahead and uh, talk about ICT oh ICT uh, just be extra careful for ICT because um, I see a support right here and we're approaching that level. Uh, in fact, we are already in that level. So I just feel that any moment from now, people will be taking profit. Also, your RSI here is starting to show some decline while the price is moving higher. So what does that mean? As the price moves higher and higher, people are a little bit hesitant because uh, the price is starting to become more expensive and so your momentum is starting to also uh, decline and at that point when that thing happens um, sometimes and uh, if you are still in the uh, resistance area that is when people start taking profit at this point it is actually right right at that level and uh, <clears throat> this was your resistance right here it slightly recovered attempting to break that resistance but as we see the price or the momentum starting to die down, um, just expect expect that if it does not go beyond that line, this line over here, 120 perhaps, uh, you will have some profit taking that will happen because this is currently a possible resistance area. Okay, so those are our key levels. 120. Here, let's move it a little higher. There. See that? This one over here. Each time it hits this level, it is having a difficult time breaking. So maybe if you want, you can wait for it to... Uh, if you're a believer of the, the stock, just wait for it to dip a little bit because I know that there will be some profit taking that will happen. And this one has already climbed up. Okay, so there you have it. What about Tell? Tell, tell is still uh, uh, experiencing some, some breakdown in the price. People are taking profit. Perhaps the sentiment is uh, <clears throat> in the, uh, the other companies. Um, growth or 
much smaller companies that that has or that have a, a lot of uh, growth potential. For instance, you have your now there, you have your Dito, and uh, again another one would be Converge. So everything related to telecommunication or uh, being an internet uh, service provider. So these are the key com com competitors of uh, Tel and even Globe. And right now, because this is a stock that's overall really a bit on the expensive side, that's why people are pulling out and transferring their funds. Although for those people who are really um, investors of this stock, uh, their attractive uh, payout system for their dividends is uh, one thing that's also uh, making the people hold on to their position because look at that i think this is a quarterly on a quarterly basis they give out some uh, dividends march or every twice a year august 2000 i think twice a year yeah so there you have it. i think this, uh, i talked about this in the past around the six percent or five percent 38 plus 38 around that you just have to compute it okay so uh, at this point i'd say just um stay on the sidelines first for tell because i see it dropping some more where could it drop next i think around uh 1166 so let's see if um this 1166 1006 no not there around 1173 let us see if it will hold in that level um we have to closely observe this key area let us see if it will bounce right there you're also fast fast approaching your over um, oversold area there bdo bdo still doing sideways right here but look at that we're somehow still moving below the ma20 line over here so i think we have to closely monitor that it might drop again up to the 86 level yeah we have some foreign buying that happened again so have to closely observe that but um you know this is actually the time when uh, a lot of the uh, big players are accumulating volume in this stock because again very stable company look at how much it dropped there see that it used to be in the 160s level so it's like 100 percent 100 percent drop but just look at it in the when we talk about uh, stocks in the index, especially especially the uh, the big players like the banks, um, nothing to be scared at this point. MPI, look at the volume right here. Wow. So this stock, I think, is just starting to uh, really show some recovery here. Um, at this point, uh, you already have, um, I think we already have a breakout in this stock uh, when it reached uh, this level. Uh, the reason why I said that is because we saw this used to be a resistance, resistance right here. And it actually revisited this key area. You see that? You're, it, it, it doesn't fail. And no, I'm not saying it's 100% accurate all the time, but it... I've seen so many, countless, so many setups whereby if a, a stock goes beyond the resistance right here, which is your ceiling, when it breaks your ceiling, it, it goes a little higher, sometimes it could be significantly high, and then at one point it will just go back to its previous resistance, and right there it will create a brand new support. So in this case, it revisited that key area, started to show some, some recovery, so sometimes it will go sideways first. So who knows? That's why I'm still plotting it at this key area because uh, within the day, you wouldn't really know. 
a fluctuation could happen and then uh, if you have your order placed at that key level then it could be you, it could uh, be executed and then you are you are in a better position so right now I see some more um, so I think the uh, the uptrend here is still fine it is happening we still have some uh, uh, momentum right here through but uh, just wait, just haggle for a few cents okay there's still a lot of, of potential for this stuff see that there pure gold pure gold I think uh, people are still taking profit right here I have a strong feeling it might even go back to its previews uh, let's check this out first this one 41 it could reach that level or 42 that area and then another one right over here yeah there okay so it might continue to drop you still have some foreign uh, selling that's happening uh, it's about it's not overbought yet but approaching it so uh, just be extra careful because we might see some more drops for instance today I see some declines happening and uh, I, I don't know if it'll just drop up to the 42 level or 40 level so those are your next areas of uh, possible bounce and the reason why I said that is because when you screen to the left I see a, a, a possible drop here right and then some consolidation that happened here this used to be a resistance and uh, when we managed to break out of that and we're now going back retesting that level it might not it might create a support at that key area okay next is URC URC also um, uh, be extra careful because uh, looks like this is about to trigger again some more selling uh, sentiment uh, it's about to um, trigger the lower band so in this case I'd like to plot our next possible support uh, which just closely monitor let us see if it'll create some stabilization around 125.80 but for now uh, find another stock, stock perhaps if you are interested in this stock um, or just put your buying power um, just put it there because uh, the moment we reach an entry that is more promising that's the time you can enter because right now it's not yet perfect time sometimes you don't have to really take action for any day if there are no attractive setups okay this one too is trying to um, uh, there's still there was a lot of selling that happened here since May but looks like what we have right here for several days it is trying to uh, stabilize at this uh, key level over here yeah if you look to the left this is actually a significant area used to be a resistance right here then a support over here and then also hit the re it was hit here which was uh, acting as a resistance and uh, some stabilization that's happening over here so this could be a, a consolidation phase for this stock right so let us find out if uh, it will sustain it will hold at that level and then uh, experience some bounce right after so that's something we need to watch out for do we have any news ah we're also upgrading interesting so that's really good it's nice that with the competition uh, in place right now those big players those who are the market leaders in the telecom um, community or business they're also innovating making their services even better and yeah I think it's it's long overdue we, we have to really um, level up the way we um, operate our telecom businesses here because our internet really really is super slow compared to other countries
especially when you're trading if you have experience uh, trading in other countries even even just in Vietnam all when you when you trade there like when I uh, when I went there and uh, just trade using my phone it 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 executes very quickly here you really have to you know you have your <laughs> your broker that's a bit laggy the internet as well so we really need to uh, level up our, our our game Ali Ali still below the MA20 line your MA20 is still acting as your resistance right over here but what's interesting is uh, we're showing some stabilization at this point, which is very near your MA20. So it's also possible that any moment from now we could break out of that. Um, and let's just use this downtrend channel or downtrend resistance at this point. So if we break out of that, then that's a good sign. We now have a breakout play, possible breakout uh, in, in this uh, stock. Okay, so maybe you can already start putting this in your watch list uh, very we're still in the 40s level JFC <clears throat> we talked about this last time uh, let me just check oh, I already talked about it last night so you can just watch the uh, video I created from uh, yesterday or from last night uh, I already have some insights for JFC set B FB is also there. It was a request. Let's talk about ASEN. ASEN. Wow, is this an all time high? Oh, it is. You know what's interesting when you have an all-time high? It doesn't really know. It doesn't know the price. Doesn't know where the uh, the resistance is. So we could see. We could have uh, some more uh, movements going up here. So right now, just in case the market gives you a chance from uh, probably around 3.21, uh, which is your MA20 line, you can probably try it out. Okay, so um, any news here? <coughs> Change in number, is this an insider buying? Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Increase in the company authorized capital stock, they increased. From before, uh, I gotta read this first. Oh yeah, they did from um, seven billion to thirteen billion. But the uh, public float is from twenty-seven point ninety-nine to fifteen. Uh, so just check that out. Uh, let's see how this, oh, it, it was from nine days ago. So probably that is the reason why the stock is already shooting up. Okay, let's go back. Meralco. Morocco, nice, also showing some uh, positive movements here. So this used to be your resistance. And uh, it broke out of that. It's also triggering the upper ball in your band. So this could be another good sign. We might see some more bullish sentiment in the coming days for Morocco. Your RSI is also giving us some... Um, positive uh, signs 
we're higher than the 50 level in our RSI. So I just think that we will uh, most likely be seeing some more positive moves here. Nice, nice. Okay. I think that is it for now. Um, in the meantime, if you have some requests, go ahead and drop a comment, okay? I'm excited for our uh, market day today. It's a Friday, though. Just be extra careful because um, some profitable stocks could, you know, end up red today because uh, of people taking profit. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and then the notification bell so you're always updated whenever I have new videos. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.